Okay, so now we're going to look at how to mark and give feedback through Teams. This is through Teams on the iPad. I'll do another video later of how to do it on the PC. So first, we're going to open the Teams app. And remember earlier, I'd set um, a task for Gareth in our shared class. So I'm going to find that class, which on the left-hand side, OG Teaching GH. Go to the channel where I set the assignment. Or go to general, I think is where they'd all show. Um, and then there's all our correspondence and you'll be able to find your assignments there. Probably just list in there. Or I could go more and assignments. Okay, either of those this is a valid way of getting there. Um, you'll then see I've got drafts assigned graded. Okay, so at the moment there's a task I assigned. I can see I've got one out of one handed in on the right hand side. So tap on that. So how to get on that? I just tapped on the white. Tapped on just that white rectangle where it says assigned. And then we open it up. And you can see it breaks things down now into, into to grade and graded. You can see who submitted and the status. So Hart Gareth is handed in. So I'm going to tap on where the purple tick where it says handed in. It's going to bring up a preview of the work on the left hand side and on the right hand side is what I'm interested in. I'm going to click on that little word icon in the grey rectangle. So word icon brilliance of digital guidance. Tap on that. This is just a preview. Okay, so don't try and do anything here. Then if you look top right, there's a little pen on a page. And that opens it up. This opens it up in Word. Okay, I've got a few options now of how I can um, mark and give feedback. If you have a stylus that you're comfortable using, then select the Draw tab from the top middle. We can have whatever colour we like here. If you see the plus on the right hand side, you can add pencil, pen or highlighter in whatever colour you like. Okay, or you can actually, if you select one, you can use the down arrow to change the colour. So you can use the orange that we use for feedback. Um, so, and then I can just mark straight on the page. Always add the date, please. And then we want to say to underline... And then we can give some overall feedback. Consider disadvantages as if there are disadvantages. Okay, so that's method number one. That's you've got a stylus. Okay, if you don't, there are still plenty of options available to you. One is you could just type into the work. So obviously you can do this on PC as well in the exact same way. I would recommend doing it a different colour. Okay, so it stands out. So feedback. So this is just typed into the document. The downside of this, which is definitely worth being aware of, is if I wanted to say, for example, underline the title, then I've actually messed up the formatting slightly, as in, because I've had to add a line in. So it's probably not so good for detailed comments. It would be absolutely fine and great for feedback at the end, or on a PowerPoint document, you could add it as a text box. But in Word, it's probably best for just feedback at the end. Um, the third option, which has many advantages, potentially some advantages over marking up with a stylus, is the review option there. And you can see kind of just left of middle in that bar that's appeared, we've got all those speech, speech bubbles. Those are our review options. So what we're going to do is, hopefully I can get it right this time, we highlight the thing that we want to make a comment on. And 
new comment actually appears, we'll investigate whether that's different in a second, but I'm going to press the green plus in the speech bubble. And it comes up with me. Okay, it might change that to author in a second because I'm the one who created the document. But either way, it doesn't matter. And please always underline titles. Lots of exclamation marks for emphasis. Then I press the little envelope there to kind of save that. Okay, and then the student would be able to come in here and reply. Okay, and add comments to that. Hopefully we'll show what that looks like in a second. Um, and I can do it with bits of text, as in just one word there. So to get the cursor up, you tap and hold on the screen, and then it will give you a select option. You can then drag using the blue, the blue circles on either end. You. Um, and let's add a comment there. Yes. And... Final one, let's just add one at the bottom. So not on a piece of text, just I put my cursor in the bottom. And good work, very neat handwriting. Okay, let's send that. Okay, so then there's these bits of feedback and I'll ask Gareth to show you what that looks like. You can see on the right hand side there are the the comments that have appeared and if you tap on the comment you can see the piece of the piece of writing that it's referring to okay it highlights it so that's quite effective like I say, I'll show you what that looks like from the other side shortly um, let's just test what it looks like when we go new comments yeah exactly the same okay So you can either do it using the speech bubbles at the top, or you can do it by put your cursor where you want to, press and hold, and that little black menu will appear, select, and that's the mechanics of that. Okay, so now I've marked it up to my heart's, heart's content. I then, if I don't want those to appear for now, I just press the cross top right on comments. Okay, you can still see they're there because there are the speech speech marks down the right hand side. If I wanted to find them again, if I just tap on any one of those speech marks, they'll appear. Speech bubble, sorry. Okay, so now that's done with that in whatever method I want to mark. Then, and this is important, press the back the left arrow, top top left, not the one that's teams, just the next to the page with three bubbles. Left arrow there, and then that will be saving that. I can then go back to Teams. So go back to Teams, find the assignment again. So go more assignments. Go on. This assignment that I've set. So exactly the same route to, to see it again. Go on, hand it in. And then we can see Gareth's piece of work, excellent piece of work that it is. And then my feedback on it, you can see in the preview. Fee and then, this, sorry, this is important. So in this feedback box here, I would probably tend to write, or in fact I have been writing a grade. So A1, C feedback on Word document okay and then you'll see what this looks like from the other other side of the world when Gareth shows you press return so key thing there press the purple return at the bottom and it's taking a bit of time it's taking a lot of time we might uh, I might go back into that and just check that that's worked Oh no, it didn't like that, did it? Okay, let's try that again. So grade A1, C feedback on Word document. 
then press return that looked more successful okay ticks come up to show that it's returned if I then go back top left here you can see that in my two grade section there are none and graded is one and it's been returned Okay, and then Gareth will show you what it looks like from his, his side.